So in last video we created a CSV file and we exported data from a table as a CSV file comma separated value CSV stands for comma separated value and today we'll import that same file into a table in in a different schema and we'll use a utility known as SQL loader for that purpose in order to use SQL loader uh, all you have to do is to create a control file that governs how data is inserted and what table does it go into although creating a correct control file can be a bit challenging in a practical environment but a simple example here would teach you the basic concepts so first of all let me show you how to how let me show you what CSV file we have I'll say directory star dot CS V. So what I'm saying, show me all the files that have an extension of CSV in C root. There's only one file, abc.csv. And if I type, if I say type abc.csv, you should be able to see the contents of this file. It's a text file, as you know, and it has a number of rows and e and and there are two two values in each row, and the values are separated with the help of a comma in between. So we want to import this data into a table and let me connect to the database as user angel and the password was wings. We are connected to the database as a user angel and I'll create a table. I'll call it EMP and the first column would be name and the data type would be varchar or varchar2 whatever you want to call it comma and the second column would be salary and the data type would be number bracket close semicolon and enter table has been created now I'll go back to host operating system okay so let me create a control file I'll say notepad abc.ctl cannot find the abc can abc.ctl file do you want to create a new file yes and the statements are load data in file would be the name of the csv file which is abc.c csv into table emp and i'll say fields terminated by single quotation comma single quotation close open bracket and the name of the first column in EMP table was name and the second column was salary bracket close and that's that is a simple control file save exit now from the command prompt I'll say SQL LDR which is a command to invoke SQL loader and then you have to type in the name of the user this is the user that we want to import CSV file into into a table called EMP that belongs to Angel and the password is wings and, and the name of the control file is abc.ctl if I press enter commit point reached logical record count 109 let me log into SQL plus once again show user and select all from EMP it should have 107 rows thank you very much so that's how you import data with the help of a CSV file into a table into a different schema into whatever schema you want thank you very much